Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebRoad.com. And today I'm really excited to show you some new functionality and features that are available to Google's Analytics users. Um, th this functionality used to only be available to people who had purchased the Google Analytics 360 suite. So that was mostly going to be enterprise level integrations. But now it's available to you and I to use in our small business. So let's dive right in and take a look at this. Um, I noticed, or I saw the blog post on December 14th where they started talking about the idea that they were going to release this functionality to you and I. And then, sure enough, on January 17th, they announced the release. So, forgive me, it's taken a few weeks to figure out exactly what they were talking about, but here we are. Um, we dive right in at our homepage, and the first thing you're going to need to do is go into your settings, your administrator settings, Go to your property of whichever of these websites that you want to activate the uh, user tracking function. Go into property settings. Scroll down and you'll see down here user analysis is this new feature that's available. And you can enable user metrics and reporting. It should be turned on. It might already be turned on if you've integrated Google Analytics since this was released. It might have already been, been automatically turned on and then hit the done button. So what exactly you just did you just do? Well, if we go here to audience, we'll see this new tab here is the user explorer tab. And it's very exciting. When we click on user explorer now, we get this list and it's going to be a short list at first. I like to expand that to about 500 or 1000 users. And this is all of the users that have hit your website and exactly what did they do while they were on your website. Very exciting stuff. So let's look at someone who's actually made a purchase on this website rather than look at someone who hasn't. Okay. So let's go user explorer. And then let's go by transactions is good. Or I want to go, let's go by revenue. That's really what I want to do. So this person spent a thousand dollars on our website on January 25th. Now, you did not used to be able to click on a user and see exactly what they were doing, and now you can. I can see now that on January 25th, this user who placed a $1,083 order on the website, I can see their exact path to victory here, right? So they came to our homepage, they <clears throat> viewed accessories, they viewed the merchandise store, they viewed home, they they clicked on the details, right? So this is very, very exciting that I can do this now. I can see, I can see how many times they have visited my website, how many times they did buy something or didn't buy something, and exactly what path took them to, to make that purchase. Let's go back and let's, let's look at a user who didn't make a purchase and see the difference. This is someone with a lot of sessions on the website who has not made a purchase yet. So on January 26th, there were these five sessions. So I can tell that between the hours of 8.41 p.m. and 12.32 a.m. on January 26th, this person was very excited about placing an order. Um, they even went as far as to add this stuff to their shopping cart, but for whatever reason, they did not make a purchase. Okay, so this is very exciting stuff here. So what you used to always be able to do is you could see the user flow. Um, you could see chunks of people and how they were navigating around the website. But this new functionality very specifically adds the ability to track one person's movement throughout the website to see why they are or are not converting into a order. So thank you so much for coming back. It was really exciting to show you the new user explorer functionality with Google Analytics. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, check me out on Facebook and on LinkedIn. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.